Hello friends, uh, let's talk about centromere a little bit more. Centromere is one of the most important part and organizations of uh, eukaryotic chromosome. Centromere as the term suggests, it presents in the center of eukaryotic chromosome as you can see here. Let me take a color, okay. So here it is, this is the centromere and actually previously you have seen that we always draw things like that, we always draw chromosomes like that, we draw chromosomes like this. In all this case, these things are centromere, right? We all know that. It is so tiny, a simple joint, right? But actually centromere is far more complicated and it's a large structure and it has different regions and they have different functionalities. And that's what we are going to see here. We are going to see the different regions of uh, eukaryotic centromere and their functionality. And then we'll be seeing uh, the different or uh, localization of centromere. And based on the localization of centromere, what is the different naming of the chromosomes? So let's begin. You can see here at the very beginning, this is the senchromatin. Actually, uh, this whole DNA structure, the chromosome, you know, the very important thing to understand centromere is to understand the structure of nucleosome. Because, you know, we all know that DNA is wrapped around this nucleosome, right? So, these are the, these are the nucleosome structure where we have histone proteins. So, these are the histone proteins and these are the DNAs. So, DNA are wrapped around histone proteins, right? And then they are arranged with each other to form, uh, you know, uh, the loop-like structure. Using scaffold proteins, they hold together to form the structure called chromosome. Now, in the chromosome, we are having chromatin. Chromatin means DNA plus proteins, right? That is, histones are protein, DNA and histones compiled together are termed as chromatin. Now, the chromatin that is present in the centromere is termed as senchromatin because C-E-N in capital is denoting the centromere in all these cases. Okay. So, senchromatin here is this green regions that is present. Right after that, there is inner kinetochore. Now, kinetochore is another very, very important structure about centromere. Now, kinetochore is a special structure which helps to interact which helps the this chromosome to interact with microtubules as you can see here these are the microtubules you know microtubules are made up with tubulin proteins which are arranged with each other a tubulin polymer which will interact with the kinetochore to hold on to uh, those chromosomes during the segregation of the chromosome uh, during cell division right so, this is the inner kinetochore, this blue colored section, this is the inner kinetochore, right? Because this kinetochore is present in the inner side of the centromere. And the red region is the outer kinetochore, right? Which is, uh, which is present in the outer side. Now, you know, kinetochore is a specialized structure so that this microtubule can actually hold on to the chromosome. Because, you know, microtubule is growing and shrinking all the time during the cell division. So, it's very, very important. Uh, to, to create a structure so that during the disassemble of microtubule, it remains attached with the chromosome. It's very, 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 very important, right? So, here is the outer kinetochore and inner kinetochore, which is dedicated for interaction of the centromere and chromosome with the microtubule polymer. After that, we are having pericentric heterochromatin, which is this one. This is pericentric heterochromatin. Now, I, I know that you should know the understanding of heterochromatin and euchromatin because heterochromatin is a portion of chromatin where non-coding genes are usually present, where the genes are present which are not being transcribed or translated into proteins. So, they are kind of functionless. Rest of the regions, the blue colored section here, these are the euchromatin sections means they contain all the regions for the chromosome which are filled with coding regions and they produces proteins, right? These are also called as chromosome arms. So, in a sense, these are all the section of a chromosome and a part of the centromere. Another thing I must say, the kinetochore microtubules. 
you know there are different types of microtubules in the cell during the cell division polar microtubules astral microtubules and the microtubule that are interacting with the kinetochore are termed as kinetochore microtubules and these are the kinetochore microtubules okay so let me change the color for a bit so once we know the name of all these regions so what are the function of all these regions for example synchromatin they actually helps in the centromere identity and foundation for the kinetochore i'm not going to talk about the detailed protein structure and all these things because centromere and telomere both of them are very huge and hot topic for molecular biology research so new ideas are coming every day so i'm not going to talk about the name of the proteins and all of this but uh, this centromere or synchromatin is a core for the centromere it is a core foundation it's also foundation for the kinetochore inner kinetochore part is a structural link between the synchromatin and the outer kinetochore as you can see pretty easily this is this place between these two outer kinetochore and the synchromatin and the outer kinetochore is very much important for microtubule binding it is very much important for chromosome congregation and it's a very important for anaphase movements because you know the very very important thing during cell division is the segregation of chromosomes in anaphase and that is brought about by microtubule and kinetochore attachment and that thing is carried out using this outer kinetochore outer kinetochore produces a remarkable structure for the growing and shrinking of my microtubule and this also helps in the spindle attachment checkpoint during the segregation process okay then we have this pericentric heterochromatin this heterochromatic regions are also helping in the structural integrity of the kinetochore and it, they also help in the centric cohesion cohesion means attachment of those two chromatids with each other through one centromere because you know in each of those they have chromatids two chromatids are attached to this centromere and then they will be separated right in anaphase so that thing is brought about by this heterochromatin region and the chromosome arms they are filled with all those genetic informations filled with all those genetic code they will produce beautiful proteins for the cell except for that they also help in sister chromatids cohesion as you can see here these are the sister chromatids sister chromatids because they are sister of each other they are not though attached with same centromere uh, but they are attached via the chromosome arms remember this sister chromatids always attached or cohesed with chromosome arms right and so that's brought about here okay so that's in a sense the structure of centromere now if we look at the centromere localization and based on the position of the centromere we have different nomenclature for example centromere can present in at the center part of a chromosome that is called as a metacentric it can present in slightly polar than the center it is called sub metacentric meta means at the middle centric means at the center so it's metacentric sub metacentric is slightly uh, outer of the metacentric it can be acrocentric which is completely present at the pole of the chromosome or it can be telocentric so acrocentric means not completely pole but uh, very very close to pole very close to pole but telocentric is present at the telomere telocentric means the centromere is present at the telomere as the terminal region of the chromosome is termed as the telomere centromere present at the telomeric region will be termed as telocentric chromosome right 